Rebecca Langford from Great Britain. Congratulations with your win here in the 1500 meter. For you as an 800 meter specialist, it was today a little bit longer. Yeah, well, I mean, I did a 1500 meters a couple of weeks back trying to get my stride. It was a slow race. So today I knew I wanted. To, I knew there was a good fast guys in the race. One come sick from World Juniors. So I knew for me that it was going to be a fast race, but it wasn't. So I kind of took it on as myself. I was trying to slow it down but also try and make it a bit faster at times to try and catch him off guard, like try and uh, catch him out of uh, catch him out just really. And then at uh, 250 meter for the end, you almost, you, you get a surprise on the inside lane. Yeah, well, I mean, I was trying to hold the outside of lane one, keep it nice and secure so they have to work to get around me. And he come flying like a 100 meter running with my inside. I was like, really, like, I was like, whoa. And uh, he caught me off guard, but I felt really easy. And coming to the last 100 meters, I saw he was tiring. He, he was in last gear, and I still had quite a few more gears to go. So I know kind of had it with like 100 meters to go. Uh, how was your season? Because a few weeks ago, you did the Diamond League, the 600 meter uh, against Rhodesia. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, it was, it was such a good experience. Uh, the race didn't go the 600 meters as planned, really. It was a bit of a, a scrappy first 200 meters. Couldn't really get into stride and lost kind of a bit on the field. So I had to work pretty hard. I wanted to go through 400 about 48, but went through in about 50. Um, but I mean, I can't uh, not be happy. I got a British record for 600 meters uh, or under 20 British record. And yeah, and this whole season on um, like on a kind of if you want to sum it out, has, uh, it's not been what I wanted. Like I've kind of let myself down quite a bit in the 800 meters. So I've got a lot more to work on next year. I think I've got a lot more to give in the eight. On, on, on what point did you let yourself down on the 800 meter? Uh, I mean, I was peaking my year all around uh, the final of World Juniors and I kind of, I got really ill food poisoning the day before my final, but I didn't really sleep, uh, was up in the toilet Half the, uh, half the night, woke up, my team manager gave me some Imodium to stop me going to the toilet, what made me need a toilet really bad, so I was kind of had a bit of stomach cramping before the race, couldn't really stand up too straight, so I just run the final, because I don't want to just give up and say, I'm not going to run the final, I just like, have a defeatist attitude, I kind of had to, uh, I give it my all, because I knew if I didn't run it, I'd be really disappointed in myself, so I kind of, um, I knew I had myself, I had to run it and I didn't want to let myself down. And I'm pretty proud of myself for kind of finishing the race considering being so far behind the field. After that World Junior Championships, you, you could start then in the Diamond League uh, yeah. race, but you are still like next year, you're still a junior. Like yeah. how is it then to, to be still a junior and racing already in Diamond Leagues? Well, I mean, it, it's, it's a good barometer for my uh, 800 meters. Like the 600 meters been in a world-class field like that. I wasn't too far away behind it. And I know I had a lot more to give in the 600 meters. So um, it, it is a brilliant experience. And I know it's kind of given me a lot of uh, confidence and I know what I want to do. I kind of know how far I want to go myself. So Now a PB of 147 in an 800 meter. What, what's your aim for next year? Uh, definitely my aim for this year was low 146. Um, so next year is definitely try and maybe get a qualifying time for a senior. Uh, World Championships event for the eight. That's my main. That was my main priority this year was to kind of get the the time this year, get it early. But didn't get it this year, so I'll go get it next year. So it's got to go. <laughs> thank you very much and good Thanks luck. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.